Hello guys and welcome to the C programming tutorials. In the last tutorial we have seen about how you can write the data to the files. But in this tutorial we are going to see how you can read the data from the files. So I will show you one program and by using that program we are going to read the uh, data from the files which we have stored in the folder. So let's get started. So first we will write file then pointer and I will name it fp after that I will open the file to read the data from the file then the file name which is abc.txt this file we have created in the last tutorial so now we are going to read this file so in the last tutorial we have put w here because we need to write the files to the uh, write the data to the files so now we are going to read those files so we are going to put r here after that we have to take some variable then uh, we will put it 200 bytes ok then we have to use while loop and uh, we have to put f e o f ok so what it will do is it will read until the end of the file ok so that is the work of f e o f and we are putting f e we have to read it then f gets to get the file and uh, after that we have to put read because by using this we will read it ok so f e then we have to print this files on the screen so we will print the data on the file so what our program is reading we are going to see it on the screen then close it ok so what we are basically going to do in this tutorial is we are going to read this abc.txt file and we are going to read what's inside that file ok so let's run this program So there is one problem. Uh, so we have to put curly press here. After that, we have run it. Okay. So the program is running successfully. So the text which we have wrote into the file in the last tutorial that we are going to read it that we are creating the file. Okay. So in this way, you can read the files in C. So basically, what FEOF doing is here is it is starting from this end and reading until the last end so where the po file pointer stops it will stop reading so in this way you can read the files in C so thanks for watching and uh, in the next tutorial I will tell you how you can append the files okay so see you in the next tutorial and please subscribe to my channel